got original 1967 Ford Fairlane AM radio. These are pretty cool. The only ones that fit in the 67s. The 66s look like that, but they have a different uh, way of hooking them up, uh, bolting them in. This is a true 67 AM radio. And we polished everything when we've done a full Aurora design conversion. Redone the case on it. It has a AM FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. Uh, redone the needle in it, the background. It has uh, pre outs on it if you want to add a sub to a sub or amp to your rear speakers. Uh, it also has auxiliary in, which is automatic. You'll get a male to male cord like this. You just plug it in this harness here. Put any device onto it satellite radio, uh, XM radio, your phone, uh, CD changers, anything you want to. Put it in there, turn it on, hit play, it'll automatically change over. Uh, this harness also has USB port. You'll get a thumb drive with this video on it, some music. This will also charge your phone, your devices. Push button operated for your uh, USB and your Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth, hand free phone calls, voice command, voice assistance. This radio will scan your stations, has voice ID. It's fully loaded. We're going to run it in. Right now you're on, uh, let me get the cords out of the way. Right now you're on FM. Got an operating LED down here. It changes multiple colors depending on what the radio's doing. Over here you've got a stereo LED. It lights up when you find a stereo channel. If you want to go to AM radio, you just turn the unit off and right back on. Little light goes to red. AM radio. That's 650 here in Nashville. Repeat. Off and right back. Takes you right back to FM stereo. Bass and treble like you've always had. Now, if you hook up uh, one speaker, it'll go all the way to mono. It'll put everything into one, and you won't get a stereo light. If you hook up two speakers, you'll get the stereo light, and you'll have balance built in your uh, toner control. If you put three or more to it, you'll have a stereo light, balance, and fader built in your uh, toner control. A little smudge all over everything. And uh, it automatically knows how many uh, speakers run as soon as you turn it on. It does not require a 12 volt consistent wire to it. No batteries to change, no memory to worry about. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate some of it. That's how you switch from AM to FM. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is how it scans stations. And all you do is take your tuning knob and turn the needle up twice so you can hear the stations move. One, two. Nope. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle moving. Breaks the power of money I'm going to show you how to so let it, let it, find, it to find the station the for you. Start there and say, I'll show you how to lock on it. I'll show you how to actually even find it if you want to pull out and preset it. Say so you like that station there. All you do is take the tuning knob and turn it one time. Station hold. Now she'll hold that station for you. Or you can start moving it and it'll go quiet till you find it. There it is. Pull out a preset and you got it. That's how your scanning your stations work. If you put it in the scanning mode and you want it to stop, just turn your needle back one click. It will stop and lock on whatever you got. All right. That's your scanning and everything. Now you've got an AM radio. We don't want to change the dial because this dial is really pretty. It's lit up. It looks great. It's going to look good in the dash. You have a gasket around it. So you're going to see this, this, and the, and the dial numbers. You're on FM. you like to know where you're at. Take the volume knob and turn it up three times. FM 92.5. That's called Voice ID. It will do that on AM and FM in case you're looking for a Pacific station. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do the balance and the fader. We're wide open treble, wide open bass. Just take it back about halfway. And we're gonna go in the fader first by going clockwise with a toner control. 
she will come on and say you're in the fader adjust. As long as, after she says it, as long as you're moving this, you can fade from front to rear. After that, we're gonna do counterclockwise and we're gonna go into balance. Let's do it. One, two. Fader adjust. There's your rears, fronts. Balance it out, let her set it. Fader set. Now we're gonna do balance. We're gonna go in the opposite direction. Oh, that was balance error. Let's go into fader. We're going clockwise. One, two. Fader adjust. There's the rears, fronts. As long as I'm moving it, it will stay in that mode till I find what I like. All right, we'll let her set it. Fader set. Now let's go into balance counterclockwise. One, two. Balance adjust. Left side, right side. So you got full adjustment on it. You find what you want, let's balance it out. All right, I like it right there. Let her set it. Balance set. Now we're back on treble and bass. That's how your built-in balance and fader work. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is auxiliary in. You know, you'll get a male-to-male -male cord like this. All you do is pull it out and uh, plug it in to your little harness here. You can hide that in the glove box if you want to because you can operate it all from out here. Uh, plug in your device, just turn it on and hit play. It's gone green, that means auxiliary in. When you get ready to go back to radio, just turn your device off. And if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds, which you might be putting your, your cords up and all, it'll automatically switch back over for you. And we're going to let it do that. But if you want to go quicker, just turn it off and on like you was uh, cycling from AM to FM. It remembers where you were, where you left, you left it. All you're doing is canceling out the 20 seconds. Automatically change back over. That's how your auxiliary in works. Now we're gonna run our Bluetooth in. We're gonna pair it up. You're gonna do the same thing. All this is in your instructions, but I make the videos. Sometimes people like to see the videos. So we're gonna pair it up. It will take multiple devices. It will always pick number one. So if you're a primary driver, that's the one you wanna do. So let's bring our phone up, make sure we're on Bluetooth, and we're gonna let her help us out. We're gonna hold this push button down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we gotta do is tap on it, she'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, we're connected up. You notice the little button's lit up. Let's go to music. We're gonna do a uh, voice command. You get two mics, you got one that's built right behind this push button right here. I find them to be very good. Unless your car is loud or convertible, you get a second mic, extendable, plug it in where it says mic on the side of the radio, get it closer to you. Let's do a voice command. We're gonna hold this button down, bring our phone up. You can do this on phone calls, call home, restaurants, whatever you want. Play music. Playing all songs. Shuffled. Now it's going to music on my phone. Let's go here so we can see what we're doing. Advance your songs by pressing the button once. Twice to back up a repeat. Or I can actually do it with a tuning knob. Turn it up one click, advance your songs, back up. You can do it all there. Now we push the push button down and held it to bring our phone up, tell it what to do. You can do that, tell it to go back to radio, it'll put it in pause, go back to radio. You can also do it with the volume knob. 
turn it up twice. One, two. Stop music. Put this in pause right back to radio. Now once you do the initial pair up, every time you get in your car and have that phone with you, when you turn the radio on, she'll come on and say, Bluetooth connected. That's pretty neat. But you can use a button, hold the button down to bring your phone up, or you or your volume knob. Now a phone call comes in, no matter what you're doing with the radio, USB, radio, auxiliary, and whatever, the Bluetooth will override everything. You'll hear it ring. First thing she's going to say is, incoming call. Then you're going to hear it ring, and you've got two ways of answering. You can press this button one time and answer your call and talk, or you take the tuning knob and turn it up one click, answer your call and talk. Uh, when you're done, you can just let the phone hang up by itself. The radio will go back to doing whatever you had it doing. Or you can turn the tuning knob down one click or push this push button twice to end the call. I usually just let mine hang up and it goes back to doing what it's doing. Less things I got to turn and push. Makes sense. Now, next thing we're going to do is a thumb drive. You're going to get one of these with this video on it. It's music. And the reason why I say you can hide this because you can operate it off from this is the thumb drive is going to operate just like the Bluetooth did. Push it in, it's going to go straight to it. Advance your songs, press it, back up or repeat twice, or tune it off. Same thing. Now, if you want to go to pause, you got two ways of doing it. You can hold this down one second. Put this in pause, go right back to radio. So you don't have to pull this out unless you want to charge a phone or device. Or put another thumb drive in. Some people put whole albums on thumb drives. Back on radio. We won't go down the road and we want to hear the thumb drive. You ain't got to pull it out, push it in, hold this down one second, go right back to your thumb drive. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. Because, you know, it's kind of computerized. Uh, you can also do it with the volume knob. Now we went up for our Bluetooth, we can go down to put this in pause or bring it up. Put it in pause, right back to radio, a little light's going to flash a couple of times along with that one, and we're going to cycle right back around the radio. Back on FM stereo where we left it. We're going down the road and we won't go to our, to our thumb drive, down twice, just like holding that down one second, right back to our thumb drive. Right back to radio. That's your original 1967 Ford Fairlane radio with a full. Like me, we've redone the complete the case, kept the numbers on it and all, and we've done a full Aurora design conversion, polished everything up, and I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.